I have a question for you guys. I wanna know in the comments below, what is your superpower? A superpower is something that you're really good at, something that is in you and has been in you for a long time. It might be something that you don't understand yet or that you don't fully know, but it could be your gift with animals. It could be your riding horses. It could be how well you clean your house or your room. It could be organizing. It could be how you treat kids. It could be math or science or language or anything academic. It could be anything. Your superpower is a gift from God to help direct you in your journey. It's something that he gave you to help you progress through the life that he has planned for you. I want to share with you what my superpower is so that you can maybe take some time and think about it today and come back and comment below what your superpower is because I think that as animal lovers, we should all come together and support each other and get to know each other and I'm genuinely interested. My superpower is people. I love people. I love men and women and children. I love all people. I can love just like that. I can love somebody in three minutes of talking to them and I am super loyal. I can forgive and I can forget I can love people that have hurt me horribly. I can still love them. I want to love and support every single person on earth. I want everyone to know how loved they are and how special they are and that's my superpower. It might seem super simple but that, that's it. I just love. I love people and I can see past all the bad stuff and find only the good stuff and I love my superpower. So comment below what your superpower is. What's your superpower? I don't know. You don't know? What horseback do you riding. You think your superpower is horseback riding? No, loving. Yeah, you're like mama. You, I think your superpower is loving too. Sophie is but, a love. But I don't have to talk to horses too. Wait. Very good. So I have two superpowers. Horse talking and love. Gabby, what are your superpowers? Yelling. Okay, I wanna hear positive superpowers. Yelling can be a superpower though, because if you have a really strong voice and you can really get it out there, maybe you're designed to be an instructor or a coach or a teacher. Probably not. <laughs> I think you're strong and smart. It's okay to not know what your superpower is right now, but it is something really important to think about because sometimes when I feel lost in life and I go back and think about what I'm good at, what is innately good about me, it helps me find my way. Hi guys, welcome to a brand new slimy day. Brand new slimy day. Welcome to today, Hi. you guys. It is a brand new day. Hi. I want to show you guys. Where's all your energy? I don't know. She's hungry. She's hungry, you guys. We've been yeah, no, 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 no. we've been practicing a portion control, and it has been hard. It is a hard thing to accomplish eating portion control because we live in a society that does not believe in portion control. Okay, ASMR. Everyone, quiet. So super satisfying. We are just about to start school for the day and then we're gonna head outside um, to the barn because we have to do a couple things there. And then there. I'm going to grab, um, I'm going to charge the GoPro, grab an old helmet and ride Ruby around the property. Okay, go charge the GoPro right now. Look how big my bubble is. Um. Right you guys, first stop of the day. We are at the tax store, right? Yes. Let's do it. Ooh. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> We need a salt lake for Stella, clips for our barn, and Gabby needed a dressage whip. Okay, so um, we really love our tax store. Why do we love our tax store, Gabby? Tell them, maybe they don't know. Where did you get your horse? Storm's old owner is the owner of Greenhawk. She owns the tax store near, she owns our tax store, and so whenever we get there, we get distracted talking to her because she loved yeah. him. Yeah, I do. So and we she didn't. Has his, his old name. Yeah, she's wearing a coat today with his to name on it. Aw. So we didn't get to vlog in there, but we're probably going to go to another tech store because we didn't get all the things we needed. And, what um, do you, need? I don't, you wanted to get breeches, right? 
Yeah, maybe. I think we should go look at breeches at the other store. Okay, so Gabby got a dressage whip, and the only reason is because this store is closing soon. And it's black, and I'm going to be doing like a dressage show. You know that show that Kaylee went in? Yeah, you guys might remember if you've been watching for a while, Kaylee did a dressage show. Yeah, and, and our instructor had to take away her whip since it was a bat, and it's used for jumping, and it's like navy. But you are allowed dressage whips in dressage shows. She's wait, do you have a black dressage whip? I have a gold. Oh, so that was so stupid when we bought a gold dressage whip. Well, that one I was going to do Liberty with, Mom. Oh, okay. Then Storm will buck if because, I run with him with the whip. Okay, so Liberty needs a gold dressage whip? Yes. Really? Yes. Really? I want it. <laughs> okay, this thought that was the answer. We bought another salt lick for Stella because she seems to really like her salt lick. And we bought, uh oh, do they have screws? No. They don't come with screws. They don't come. Oh, they're only two dollars, two forty nine or two ninety nine. Okay, so we bought four of these. I was like, "How many should we buy? We only have two horses." And Gabby's like, "No, we have to get four." And I agreed with her because you pretty much want four to all match, right? Mm -hmm. So that's all we bought there, right? And then we're, now, where are we headed? The barn, and then bridle path. Right. So we are going to the barn. I swear to God that they see us. Look, she's about to see us too. They both noticed us. I wish that Stella knew that it was us that put the salt lick in her stall. I wish, like, I want to bring them home. I want them to see us every day. I want to be with them all the time. See, Storm sees me. Yeah. And he's like, oh, whatever. <laughs> Stella's looking. She has to go to the barn. That's okay. Let's stick it in there. Yay! It's like putting your scent on her stall. She'll know that it's from us now. Storm never licks his. Yeah. No, yeah, well, he's half done. We should have so got him a new one too. That's the one that yeah. you gave to Storm. Yeah. Stella licked that. Yeah. Oh. He he doesn't lick his. He doesn't need any so. Stella just likes the comfort of it, I think. So we had a choice like to get buckets like this for grain and we decided not to do it. Um, we're gonna get buckets that go on the ground for our horses. Um, so while we're here, we're gonna throw Tex's neck on because we live a lot closer than Kaylee, huh? And it's cold today. You know how to do it? Yeah. So again, I got talking to people and couldn't video and then my kids ran off without me. Um, I think Stella's going to be moving into this little tiny field here with this other horse uh, because it's going to keep her from the round bale and I think she really needs that because she's gained some weight and she's a little bit sore. Don't run in the horse feet in the horse thing like this guy over here is getting all excited. They're all staring, whoops, they're all staring at you. So you guys remember when Storm was having like a problem with his blankets and Stella should go in there. And then, um, so Tex, Tex's owners moved him to another field just to see if it would help the blanket situation, which I was against. And so Tex has got his new field now, and apparently it's the best field in the whole place. No, right? it's not. <laughs> but you gotta walk five million miles. Is that it over there? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at how far Kaylee has to walk to get her horse. Yeah, that's Gabby. Where? Gabby, see Gabby, she's laughing. Oh. oh Mom. So this is it. This is the field Texas in. <laughs> I've never been here before because I broke my pelvis and wasn't able to walk where oh, is that Tex way down there? Yeah, with the green. With the green? So that's where Gabby had to go. Elvis. The one beside him. But look it, he already made a friend. That's Elvis. That's the one that we were talking about. How did they get past that fence? Oh, so he's not in this field. He's past this field. So you. It's connected. Oh. Two fields connected. Oh, okay. The gate, it's open. So oh, so they can go through the gate if they want? They go down there. They're oh. like all the way down there. Yeah, like, look, you guys. 
That's how far they can go. Like this is a such a nice field. Guys, I love the horses in this field. And that's why we want another forever farm. We want to have like a big, huge field, I right? Think we'll ride it. Those are mares. Oh. This is what our arena looks like from the outside. And look at you can see people riding in there. Like that's us sometimes. This way, see? Watch. Can you see the head going around? Isn't that cool? So yeah, this is what it looks like. I guess I've never really given you like a big tour on this channel. There is a tour on Gabby's channel. They didn't really like go over here. Look at him. I could tell that that storm even without looking at his blanket because he never takes his eyes off her. See? He's like, uh, he doesn't know what to do. Like, is she coming for me? I mean, don't get me wrong. I really like Stormsfield too. I think it's beautiful. Like, I love this farm. This is such a pretty farm. Every time you need me I'm telling you I'm here to stay But looking at your castle I'm pretty sure you say Brave in the mare field. Hi. <laughs> no, Sophia. stay in. Sophia. Sophia, are you nervous? So Sophie or Stella might move to this field right beside her friend. I would go in this field except for I'm not too, like I'm walking really good, but if I had to run or move fast, it wouldn't be good. Yeah, but you know what? You gotta brave it. You gotta stand up to them. Like, look at Gabby, she's walking with purpose. She's like, I will be the boss of you girls. All right, so Gabby's over there with Stella, but I can't see because all her friends are protecting her from us. I love you, Stella. I want Sam to build one of these. Like, I love this. This is what we need, an outdoor wash stall, because yeah, you can walk through it. Like, I walk showed you that I was a horse, so there I get to get washed in winter, and it's really cold. We don't wash in winter here. It's just too cold. Let's go tell them about our show season. I always forget so many things I want to tell you guys in the course of a vlog. So I'm going to just sit here and tell you something before I forget. Um, show season. So there's no winter show season this year. Like crazy. The, finally the time we want to show in the winter, there's none. But last year was our first exposure to showing and we did one series and then we did one show in another series. So the girls showed four times for the whole summer. How many times are we going to show this year? Every time. Every single week so there are three show series that we can do so there's three different barns throwing different different shows and there's three or four shows in each series but anyways um basically the girls are going to show at all three barns so they're going to go they're going to show three times four. a month three times a month i think um but also from may until september show. From a, yeah, plus she's gonna do a dressage show. Like there'll be a little bit extra stuff too. Which is but like, yeah, just but basically day. expect so many show sh show vlogs. Um, hopefully you guys, the girls are gonna like Probably really get show further vlogs. ahead and really like get there this summer because the summer is a whole different thing. Know. Guess Sophie only wants to show in the one series because she's worried about what she wants to show. But you know what? We have a few months still before that happens. I think we'll get her to a point where she can and do I'm cross rails because she would do amazing with I'm cross, not rails. Doing cross rails. She's She's nervous right now, so she doesn't want to do it. But anyway, I let's am go. showing Stella too. Oh my gosh! <laughs> let's go. We have one more tech store we want to hit. Oh, also another update, baby update. Uh, Jesse has two more weeks until baby Jack is here, and he had an ultrasound today, and he is estimated to be weighing seven pounds at nine ounces, and that can be up or down two pounds. It can be off the ultrasound, so he could be um, five pounds, nine ounces, or he could be nine pounds, nine ounces. So yeah, he's growing really big and really strong, and I'm about to see a picture of him.